Dave Phillips here. Hi, ubervideo.ca. A lot of people ask me, what is this big green screen for? How does it work? Why do you have it? Uh, well, I'll tell you. Um, the reasons are many. Um, I love having the green screen because it gives me all kinds of flexibility in the editing room. The kind of videos that I shoot are people talking, just like this one actually, from the waist up, people explaining their business, and then I, um, you know, include graphics and text beside them on the screen um, to support what they're saying. And the green screen allows me to uh, get a little bit of depth. I can choose whatever background I want, white, black, purple. Usually I choose white. It's a lot better, um, a lot cooler. But sometimes I'll give like a gradient, so like dark gray here to the white. So that gives me a little bit more, uh, you know, depth and looks cooler, I think. Um, also, I can put in uh, graphics, not just beside the person, but a little bit behind. So there's a little bit of overlap, and uh, I think that looks cool. So, um, so now you know why I use it. Now I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to take you to the computer and quickly show you the steps I take to, uh, to make the effect happen. So here we are at the computer, and I've just brought the uh, video clip of me speaking in front of the green screen into Adobe Premiere. That's what I use for my video editing. And uh, you can see it's sitting on the timeline. That's where we, uh, we do our editing. And uh, I'll just hit play right here so you can see. So there's me on the green screen, and I have some assets here. I call them purple, white, black. I'm just going to put purple on the timeline alongside me here. Um, it's actually beneath me, so it should appear behind me. Um, you can see that if I move my clip, you'll see the purple behind me here. So that's the way the layers work, a lot like Photoshop or something. You can have up to 99 layers, I think, in Premiere. And so you just pile in all your graphics and text and video clips and all you want. You can move them around and place them wherever you like. So the idea with the green screen is that we can um, call the green area transparent so we can see through to that other layer, the purple beneath me. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go to the effects panel. And I'm going to go to ultra key and drag that onto my clip. We can't see anything here because I haven't told ultra key what color I want to do. Obviously, I want to do green. So I'm just going to choose the, uh, the uh, little eye eyedropper there and um, click on the green. And you can see a lot of the work's already been done. It's uh, punched through to show the purple. So uh, there's some areas here of the green screen that, I, that I, we have lit a little bit brighter. So that's why you want a solid green and not any wrinkles or any bright spots or, or shadowy areas. So uh, anyway, it's easy to clean this up. Take a look. I'll just slide some of these, um, these sliders over. And uh, you can see that just cleans that right up. Now, if I'm, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on the uh, edges here. And you can see that it's a little rough around the shoulder. So I'm going to slide my choke. And you can see that cleans that up really nicely. Also, at this point, I can move my clip around. So if I want to shrink and grow my clip, I could put it put me down here if I wanted to. I could do anything I want. So it's great. I have this blue mountain top. I'm going to put that there um, just to show you how that looks. So here I am speaking in front of mountains. A lot of people ask me, what is this big green screen for? And that's basically it. That's how I do green screen, the magic of green screen technology. You can see how it opens up all kinds of possibilities, creatively speaking. And I hope this video gives you some ideas of maybe what you can do um, with your video projects. Um, if you're interested in learning more, check out my website, ubervideo.ca. Thanks for watching.